So it's that time again. I know I'm a little bit late. Uh, what is it? Four minutes? All of four minutes late. I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be one person here who's going to come and tell me off. Let's see who it is. <laughs> Bish, how are you doing, man? How are you keeping? Where's where's everything gone? Everything's all over the place. Let's see. Let, oh, we've got four people, five people. We've got people coming in. That's awesome. Uh, Nick's here. Nick, how are you doing? I saw your video today. Nice little tutorial on micro greens. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> see. Um, We've got friendly food forest here. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, David Carlisle, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks very much, guys, for coming and spending uh, quality time with us on a Saturday night. Uh, let's see who else is here. I knew, I know Dean, Dean popped in and straight away uh, I told you, oops, that needs to be on mute. I knew Dean was going to come and uh, tell me off for being late. <laughs> Joel, Joel's Durham allotments here. How are you doing, mate? Thank you very much for coming in. No, 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 uh, no scrap. Dean, no scrapping with, with uh, GL. <laughs> so, uh, Nick, Nick did a really good. Uh, Nick's allotment diary did a really good video on growing microgreens today. Uh, there's a couple of things that he said there that um, I didn't know that you had to do. Would you like put the weight on um, and don't cover the seeds with soil and just compress them? Uh, so, yeah, it was quite interesting. So if you haven't seen Nick's microgreens video, that's a pretty good one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Block GL. No, leave him alone, man. Leslie's here. Leslie, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Frank Caldwell's here. Look at that. We've got the, we've got the got the best of the best in tonight, um, so healthy quarantined, uh, thank thank God. It's uh, during garden, yeah. It's good that it's during gardening season. Catherine Ivy's here. Catherine, how are you doing? Um, Bish is doing some editing. He's doing the editing the daily. Ah. I'm gonna, let me try and get this, these words out of my mouth properly. Doing well, editing the Daily Show while I listen to you waffling. See, Fish with Bish, he's trying to do some, um, he's, he's doing a, a daily video now while we're on lockdown to keep everyone's spirits up. And if you don't know Fish with Bish, <clears throat> absolutely, he's, he's a fisherman, but he's absolutely hilarious when he does the Bish, uh, Bish with, F Fish with Bish news. It's, it's, it's absolutely quality. Um, Linz is here. Linz, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. We've got a boom. <laughs> Rahman Raj is here. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. We've got Paul, the UK scrapper. Nice one. Uh, Kelly's kitchen is here. Kelly, I sold your peas. I sold your peas. Uh, I just did a, we did a video a couple of days ago, well, no, we put it out yesterday, we filmed it a, couple, a few days ago, uh, on five quick growing seeds, and Kelly's Peas featured in that, so you sorted me out there, nice one, okay, thank you very much, <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm good, got a snotty cold if, if anyone wants it, I think everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna run miles, they might even run off the, <laughs> <laughs> everyone everyone's scared of getting anything uh at the moment why does everyone have a spanner sign beside the name um because because this is all team spanner <laughs> the american the americans will come in and tell you it's a wrench but uh this is this is uh this is the team spanner um the moderators uh Yeah, the the moderators. So uh, as people 
come into the channel and they become friendly and they're here regularly uh they'll get up to be uh a blue spanner <laughs> and and we need them as well when when uh we get some trolls in here every now and then and everyone likes a an, a game of whacker troll um so whacker troll is a really cool fun game that we have every now and then when uh we get trolled quite bad mike j r how do you say that second bit r e two i p i how do what mike how are you doing thank you very much for coming in mate uh, <laughs> so gary doesn't deserve the privilege pri privilege dean stop being so mean to him man um gary stick around for a few uh keep coming in and <laughs> and uh we'll, we'll get you one of those blue spanners don't worry about it um so yeah just just hang about enjoy yourself chill out yeah and you'll get and you'll get one don't worry everyone as i get to know people everyone ends up with one anyway so yeah don't worry just just keep just keep hanging out and chilling with us and you'll get one can you have deans Leslie, should I give him Dean Spanner? Peter Fentiman's here. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Greenhouse line, greenhouse production line in business. <laughs> Have you really? Uh, Dean, I'll let Leslie decide. If she says yes, then... Uh... <laughs> uh, if he keeps abusing it, it's, there you go, Bish. Uh, Dean, you've been told. If you keep abusing your spanner, it's, it's getting taken off you. <laughs> and it's get, being given to uh, Leslie. <laughs> Sorry, not Leslie, to Gary. <laughs> um, so, Lindsay's, Lindsay's putting out loads of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Who needs sanitizing? And Dean needs his for his neck bolts. He needs his for his neck bolts. What? Sorry, Bish, that went over my head. Uh, <laughs> uh, just noticed the icon. Which icons? Or oh, the hand sanitizer ones? Caroline to be free is here. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Um, how are you keeping? I like like the hit button or something. I like the hit button or something like that. <laughs> David, how are you keeping? How's your garden going at the moment? So tell me how everyone's garden's doing, how everyone, what everyone's up to. Paul's Paul, the UK scrapper. We've converted him from being just a scrap, you know, a scrapping channel. He's starting to put up gardening videos now. He's put up uh, his polytunnel. He's getting ready to start growing stuff. So how are you getting on, mate? Strawberries are coming back to life and chives are tasting great. Uh, we're like, we like perennials, perennials. Let me get that. One. Let me put my teeth back in because they're less work. We, yeah, I, I, I sorted out my strawberry bed a couple of days. I keep saying a couple of days, but a couple of weeks ago and um, my chives are waking up and coming in. I, I like I like chives because they're, they're one of those first, because even if you, if you don't eat them all, they put that little nice purple flower on and if you, if you feed them quite well, those purple flowers can get quite big and they look quite nice. Let's confuse Monty. Uh, Dean, it don't take much, mate. It doesn't take much. <laughs> Finally fitted my chicken pen roof and it literally started to rain as I was tidying up. Did you get a lot of rain? Because we didn't get much. It promised us rain. Um, I didn't. I didn't uh, water my garden thinking that we're going to get some rain because uh, I planted my onions out <clears throat> a couple of days ago and I haven't rain I haven't watered them hoping that it was going to rain today. I was a bit disappointed. Um, so I'm using the Green Wizards Guide book and washing my yard down with dawn soap bubbles and bubbles everywhere. Goodbye chemtrail dirt. How he, he's a he's a good man. Is the Green Wizard. I had him on. I had him on the channel of um, about this time last year, um, having a good, good little chat. Uh, 
so Catherine's got arugula, that's rocket in uh, in Yorkshire. Uh, spinach and chard, you've got all that growing nice. Um, our chard is still, still the ones that we sold, uh, we're waiting for them to pop up. But we're still harvesting last year's plants that are still still in the garden. We're still eating from that. Uh, I've done nothing in the garden and the soil is plenty warm. Why have you done nothing, David? Uh, so there's a monkey knocking knocking my teeth into place. No way. <laughs> Lindsay's going crazy with the, uh, with the icons there. That's quality. Drop one in every comment. That'll be awesome. Uh, pleased about Gary as that roof was ready to collapse. I need to rebuild my chicken, 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 chicken thing. Uh, now you mention it, Gary. It's complete. It's rotten. It's falling apart. It needs fixing, and it looks ugly. And this year for me, it's all about trying to make my garden look a bit prettier instead of like a builder's builder's yard. And Lynn's be putting mine in soon too. Uh, was going to this weekend, but I'm hanging on a week. I wanted to do my. I, I, Today's the second day in a row that I've gone out to plant my potatoes and I just haven't got around to doing it. Other stuff just keeps putting, getting in the way. Um, my back garden will become my veg garden over the next few weeks. Loads of grow, growing in pots. That's awesome, Nick. Do you know what? Oh, that's the spirit. See, you, you're you doing it. Sam's doing it. Um, I think Patricia from So and Grow, she's doing it as well. They can't get to the allotment, so they're bringing the garden home. I think that I think that's quality, you know. I really do. And it'll be good as well because you can you can nip in for a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, the book really works. Epsom salt helps the soil. Epsom salt's pretty good. Growing growing one or two different things. Purple okra got ready to work. Uh, got ready for work. Got to get ready for work. Peter, you take care because I want some tips on that. I, I could do with some tips on that okra because I got my okra. They started off really nice, got to about um, that sort of height, and then they all started just flopping over and dying. I've had them at under grow lights and it quite warm, but they just started flopping over and dying. So a bit disappointed with that. Um, that was when I first started following. When you st first started following what? True chives have an amazing spread of purple flowers. Am I way behind? Am I way behind in the chat? Uh, my garden yield this year will be amazing. Good. That's what we want to hear, Carolyn. That's exactly what we want to hear. Um, let's see what I can... Uh, what, where am I going? I'm, I'm falling way behind in the chat, I think. Uh, i got a fair few seed potatoes today for free, and that's how I roll. That's the way to do it. That's, that is the way to do it. <clears throat> Does anyone else chop their seed potatoes in half, or is that just me? And someone, I'm sure Brian or Dean's gonna call me stingy for doing that. When everyone's getting their sun, when's everyone getting their sunflower? Kelly, uh, we planted some sunflowers um, last week. So last Saturday we planted some sunflowers. Um, they're not, the, they're not. The, we're saving the Nick sunflowers, uh, but we, we we planted some sunflowers last week because my daughter was just too. Yeah, she was itching to go. Uh, that's what my family garden crew waiting for Monty to turn it up on Saturday at 8 p.m. Eh? <laughs> I'm lost, man. I'm lost. I'm just gonna skip forward to the beginning of the chat. Um, my wife's saying she's coming. Where? See, the reason I was late, right? Because when well, my wife said I have to cook today, so um, I'm cooking a nice omelet. So. <laughs> I did a message on our last book and said I'm coming. Oh, is that you? Ah, okay. So, um, yeah, so we, I made you eggs. fried eggs and toast, didn't I? And um, we're making omelettes for, for the adults. So I've got a <laughs> onion and cheese. Zachy's coming. Onion and mushroom <laughs> omelette going at the moment. So let's what's see what's shame, going on. I don't know. Let's see what, what's going on. Let's get back it. Oh, Sam's Sam's allotment diaries. Yeah, I came. Hi, Sam. Sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back. Sit. Where'd... <laughs> Come on, up you get. <laughs> he can't see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bonkers. Have they, 
Oh, you're going to have to get your feet down because that hurts. Ah! No, you're going to have to sit down. So you sit down. Let's see what's going on. Let's try Let's try and keep some some level of sanity in the, in, in the, on the stream. Look, what's going on? Just hi, Sandy. Every Why do I have to do a video in my family garden? Okay, sit down, sit down. No. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so everyone's <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. This is Frank saying hi dudes and do that. Have you recorded that? Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna get hi, 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 hi. One hi to buy you, one hi to me, and one hi to Zappy. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, oh the whole boy. gang is here. They're all, they're all here, and they're all. The whole gang. My team's going. No, he's laughing because, because you guys have just uh, taken over. Mm. <laughs> this is my Monty. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing. He's doing that because uh, you guys have just taken over. That oh, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye, Monty. <laughs> bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Uh, okay. <laughs> bye, Dad. Ow. I'm Sorry. Oh, I, <laughs> bye, Dad. Bye, bye, Dad. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Come on. We have egg, Auntie. Mama eggs. Oh, <laughs> egg, more <laughs> egg. Guys, we have to go to the <laughs> Bye, bye. Ashley White's here. Me, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you want? Do you want a... My egg, egg, egg. It's downstairs. Come downstairs. Go downstairs and take it. You egg. want an egg? Your eggs, your eggs are downstairs. You just um, he's, uh, he's after some chocolate eggs. <laughs> Ashley, how are you Check doing? Check this egg! You know what a sandwich is? It's yeah. a sandwich. Oh. A sandwich is a sandwich. Dad, there's another so, comment. I saw That's the a... comment from you. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just got... You can still join Ashley, the live. Ashley, we just come in at a time where it's just gone mental. Um, <laughs> we, we, were, we were being so, we were, we were being nice and sane. And everything was going all right, and then uh, we just got raided, and yeah, the kids, the kids came in and just yeah, they just came in and rocked, rocked the place. Absolutely bonkers! Do you want a sandwich in the bread? That's a sandwich. <laughs> Can you get my laptop charger? And plug it back in before before the chart before it runs out. Um, a sandwich is a sandwich. Oh man. Oh. It's a witch that's made out of sand. It happens every week. You can you can you can start going to plan and everything's going all right and then all of a sudden they'll rock up and then Boom. completely completely um, bonkers. Send 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 the stream on a complete different tangent and it says kids yeah. will love it. What's that picture of? Sit back. Which one? It's a golf club and a uh, another sign. I don't know what. I don't know what that sign is. Are you like a strawberry? Uh, get some Sonic toys next time you go to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm pretty sure that wasn't from... My wife didn't say that. No, um, it was by yeah. I'm pretty sure it was in. Right, from Toyib! Okay, c calm down. Take it down a few... A few... Okay. <laughs> you got egg? You got okay, pink on. one. I want to show your egg to everyone. Go on, show you. He's got, he's got a pink wow. egg. Wow! He ate no. it. <laughs> Oh no! You've you dropped it in the washing basket. Go, go, get, go get yourself another one. Go on. Okay, whatever. Glass up. Glass Oh, why? Why is six scared of seven? Why is six scared of seven? I don't know. Ismail Karoli, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Who's How here? are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Who? Uh, Ismail Karoli. Yeah. Bye bye. How are you all doing with growing stuff? Ashley, we're not doing too bad at the minute. Um, do you guys want to see what I've got growing in the house? Who, who wants to see what I've got growing in the house? Chocolate before bed. That's that's gonna end. Well. <laughs> oh, no, that's what seven is greedy because seven, eight, nine. Because eight seven, eight, eight, nine. No, seven is greedy because seven, eight, nine. It there ain't there nine. you go. She's correcting your joke there. <laughs> Quick question: My tomato seedling stems are going purple. Is that over watering or lack of fertilizer? Do you know when you say they're going purple? Do the plants themselves look nice and strong? 
If the plants are looking nice and strong, don't worry about it. But if the if they're looking nice and strong, don't worry about it. Some, some, you got an egg? Don't do it. My I'll get some now. A bit leggy though. Get them into some light. Get them into as much light as you can give them. So go and show me chocolate egg. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's got. He's even got a bit of a chocolate chocolate beard thing going on here. <laughs> Look how happy he is with his chocolate egg. <laughs> um, I'd say it just needs more light. Um, if you, have you got them in your house? I got them in the house. <laughs> that kid looks like he's a chalky high for moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the sugar's kicked in yet. Uh, so if you've got them in the house, I think you, I think um, you're, they'll they'll be fine. Just give them as much light as you can probably as, as you can possibly give them. Don't don't worry about tomatoes when they're leggy because you can always plant them deep. I got mouth on the egg. I know you got your egg in your mouth. I got mouth in your egg. I got okay. mouth on the egg. Okay. You need you, you're two and a half now. You shouldn't be you shouldn't but be slobbering. Egg. <laughs> I got egg. Well done. But so um, egg. what's he I'm eating? Is he... Daddy, I'm egg. You got mouth egg. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his speech get well not when you're spitting all over my laptop. Did you just do that, man? Come on, Con control it, boy. <laughs> he, just, he just spat all over my laptop. Um, his speech gets clear every time I see him. He's, 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 he's turned into a right chatterbox and a, and a bit of a singer as well. Uh, my tomato seedlings are just starting to come through. I've left them until late this year, so I don't... So they don't get leggy before I can plant them out. I see. You know, normally we we get our tomato plants, and just just as they you know they're full of green tomatoes, um, and they're starting to ripen up, and then blight hits. So I wanted uh, to try and get as early a start as possible this year. And hopefully get through, you know, get a few decent tomatoes before, um, be, yeah, before we, uh, before we get blight season. Um, mine are just coming through as well. See, I'll show you my tomato. Do you want to see my plants that I've got inside? I can, we can go for a little walk upstairs and see what's going on. Um, I'm not sowing my outdoor tomatoes until the middle of next month. How warm is it up in up where you are at the minute, Kelly? Uh, Sophia Dewan is here. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. I just saw you. I saw. I just saw Dean's post on Facebook. How oh, late we are? I think about four minutes. Four minutes. It wasn't that bad. And I, and I was cooking. I was cooking. He's he's. <laughs> Get down here, man. <laughs> Dave, um, David, thanks for coming in, hanging out for a bit, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Uh, so, lost a lot of ones I potted up last week, last two weeks. Oh, that's that's not good at all, man. How, how comes the... What do you think happened? Uh, know what I did wrong, see what I have left. I know you're drawing it there, mate. Um, so the temperature in Scotland is blinking freezing. Daddy, egg, 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 egg. You're not having any more chocolate, don't egg. you? You can stop it. Daddy, egg, egg, yeah, that's it. You're done. You're done. You're done. That's it. You cut off. Dad. Eggy, eggy. That's it. You've had your limit. Daddy, eggy. You've had your limit, mate. No more. Daddy, eggy, eggy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Daddy, egg, 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 um, egg, No, no, you're not getting any more eggs. Dad, egg, flowing. Uh, ba, 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 ba. But 
Daddy, Papa. Let's see, look, where are we at? So, if these in these coming weeks, you'll see a massive change in how I'm, how changing him now. He's uh, with his brother and sister every day. He's got. Yeah, he's getting naughtier. <laughs> He's getting naughty, yeah. and he's bullying the other two. He's bullying the other two as well, aren't you? And they're let and they're letting you get away with it because you're smaller than they are. <laughs> yeah. um, so clock, clocks go forward tomorrow, so I'll see you all sometime after ten, nine <laughs> next week. <laughs> uh, Sophia's growing a lot, a lot of healthy food. She did a, a a video today, actually one of the one of the first gardening videos for a while. She's got um, loads of gourds, loads of tomatoes, loads of hyacinth beans, Eddie. and you should see the chili plants. That you know, she's got a Dorset Naga. It's probably about twelve inches tall. Absolutely quality. Uh, I couldn't even get them to germinate this year. So you've done something. You've done something well there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I want some tips on your. Uh, chili growing because for some reason my super hots don't germinate very well um, my dandelions are growing amazing just a shame the rest isn't you can eat your dandelions it's just a bit like bit of lettuce a bit a, a bit like bit of lettuce so um, you, can, you, you can eat your dandelions <laughs> uh, friendly for forest my kids are the probably ones that my kids are probably the only ones, the only kids that love broccoli. My kids like broccoli. I'm quite impressed. They don't like cauliflower. They don't like nearly, uh, they don't like cabbage. They don't like any, most veg. But they don't mind broccoli. Um, I don't know. Uh, so, well, da -da -da -da. He's, like, he's like a meerkat. <laughs> He's popping up. He's gone. <laughs> he's he's on it. Uh, see, my son loves broccoli as as do I. I don't like broccoli. I'm not a broccoli fan. Um, I'd I'd plan to pick my chili plants up from the garden centre. Just three jalapenos, and now they're shut. Oh, do you know? Um, they were saying that garden centres and DIY places they they're part of key workers and essential staff. Essential. Essential work, but they're all, but they're all Mama. closed for some reason. Mama. Stop it, man! <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna throw my laptop. You're gonna throw my computer, and then, and then, what are you gonna do? Mm. You're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be in trouble, man. Um, Dave Shaw left. Dave Shaw left me some hot, hot spot tape for, for the polytunnel today. Where behind the police station, I was like an inspector so sneaking, sneaking towards the gate. He left it behind the police station. <laughs> My nephew surprised me, but the but the. Mm. See, I don't like when you flick that head back because you smacked me on the nose last time. Um, so. Best stay at home, just in case. What's happened to Sam? What, com what did Sam say? Mrs. isn't well. She's lost all her taste and smell, and her nose is clogged. Has she got a temperature? Because a runny nose is a, is supposedly a sign of not having corona. So, but I hope she does feel better, and I hope it's just a little bug and it's nothing serious. Um, so I think hardware shops are only selling essential goods. I've had to go on a secret mission today to get ten bags of comp. Where would you get your compost from? Because there's loads of posts at the minute with people not being able to get compost. Uh, B and Q are shut. So so B and Q are shut up there. Up, up there. Dan supplies. Uh, da mm. What's happened there? Dan supplies are open for emergency materials over only and they're not having to face to face contact with any tradesmen ah. what's going on here never fear bish is back bish you just missed the madness with all the kids going crazy 
you set them off on one uh, yesterday when you mentioned that you're going to have a lion in your garden. All night long they were asking it. What did Bish mean about the lion? Did you ask Bish what he meant about the lion? Can you ask Bish what he meant about the lion? What are you doing? Doggy. Doggy? Where, doggy? Doggy. Where? Doggy. Doggy. <laughs> uh, s stop spitting on my computer. I had to do that when you were, when you were a baby. No, I shouldn't be having to do that now. <coughs> Amma saying, Zachary, come down. Amma's calling you. Amma's calling you. Go on. No. Yes. I don't want to call you him. You don't want to go. Don't lick my computer, boy. Uh, can't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, stand. Ah, uh, so. <coughs> He's just completely taken over now. Um, so, that, look, there's a doggy. It's doggy. A doggy. Doggy. See, Leslie's put a picture of a doggy for you. It's doggy. <laughs> doggy, 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 doggy. Nick, see, there you go. Nick, what did I say about the chocolate? <laughs> Yes, please, guys. If you haven't hit that like, please hit that like for me. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks for reminding everyone. <clears throat> I think he needs a sugar-free chocolate one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I stocked up on good soil when things started flying off the shelves. See, I'm not too. I don't do too bad for compost because most of my compost I make myself. Um, I I probably make. Do you know those build? Do you know those uh, bulk builder sacks? I can I can make um, probably about ten of those, ten full of those a year. Uh, your mum's coming for you now. You're in trouble, mate. Mum, you No, your mum, your mum's here now. You're in trouble. Come down and be easy. Wait. Don't jump. <laughs> I've got municipal compost yard down the track from us if I need extra. What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> mm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, I want, Hello. I want his energy levels. Um, I want his energy levels. Frank. How much do you know? Um, I go around. Do you know if I go to, ever go into B and Q or Wix or anything like that? I always go and find. Um, do you know the the torn bags of compost? And they normally give you those torn bags of compost for for for, for a couple of quid. So you you're onto winners. You only lose a, a tiny bit of compost. <laughs> Uh, but a warning about 120 litre bags. It's not very good this year. Lots of wood and rubbish in it. Uh, I've no compost and a lot, lot to plant, but I think I'm going to have to order it for delivery if that's even possible. Um, I've seen a few people, Sam, who have got deliveries. Um, <laughs> the kids are doing tag team. She, she, um, so my brother-in-law got me this back massager thing, and that's what she's running around sticking in my face at the moment. So that that's helpful. I'm sure he's going to be happy seeing that's coming into some good juice. Um, so now I can walk uh, around te tearing everything to get get it cheaper. Uh, Gary, you can you, it, go around looking for the ripped bags and, and tell them, look, uh, it's ripped, I want it cheaper. <laughs> yeah, we knock at least 25% burst bags. See, um, I think last year... I went into weeks and do you know those topsoil bags, those small topsoil bags? They're normally about three quid or something, four quid, and I and I got them for a pound each, uh, just because they had a tiny little hole in them, and they stuck them in a big, big, uh, big white carrier f thing for me as well. So yeah, that was all right. Uh, I like that idea, Gary. Is it? It's worth it. it. Go and find all the ripped bags and just ask them for them. Um, 
See, Dean, Dean's going to call, call me a tight git for doing it, but yeah, it's uh, it's a good way of saving some money. <clears throat> I need three tons of wood chip, best gear, ripping those bags. Um, best get ripping those. Why don't you uh, phone a few uh, tree surgeons? They'll drop you some off. I've got um, a guy who come and drop me a load off of wood chip any time pretty much any time i want um he's it costs the, it costs him money it costs him money to um dump his wood chips but he can dump them here for for free at our house last year the range did bags of 199 oh, the rip bags for 99p the range i've not seen that shop before where uh, i wonder if we've got a shop a range shop in in leeds Sometimes if we have a lot to get rid of, we'll knock we'll knock them down to a pound. Yeah, I think that's what I that's what I got, Frank. Because I, I came home with about four bags of topsoil and a couple of bags of compost, and I'd spent like a tenner. Uh, so yeah, I was I was well happy. Um, can't he can't hear you at the moment? Who can't hear me? <laughs> they all want thirty pound a ton here. That's crazy. They have to. They have to spend at least that just to dump the tr truckload. Um, that's absolutely bonkers. Um, yeah. Uh, when was the last time? I think I got a delivery about two months ago. It sat on my driveway. Um, the kids and my wife started shifting it yesterday. Uh, I think my wife's a bit fed up with it, just sat in front of the house. She she gets a bit, yeah, she gets a bit funny like that. She was complaining, she was complaining, complaining about me not cleaning the shed. And so she went and cleaned the shed this week. And the amount of stuff that's in there, it's all hers. It, I've got, I've got a lawnmower. Um, one of those shredders, garden shredders, uh, my multi-tool hedge trimmer, and and a few tools you know that fit into a couple of the drawers. The rest of the stuff is hers. It's not mine. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll mix the topsoil with multi-purpose and farmyard uh, manure for moisture moisture retention. That's what I've done this year, Frank. Normally, what I what I'd use it. If, if I didn't have the Wix topsoil, normally what I'd use is a bit of ordinary um, garden soil and I'll mix that in with my compost. So I've used your topsoil mixed in with homemade compost and some, yeah, some some uh, vermi compost, which is mainly manure anyway. So, yeah, we're on the same page. <clears throat> if If anyone's left to hit that like for me, please hit that like. A man's shed should be his own... Ashley, it should be his own, uh, but in this case, it's not. It's like um, every, I, t I bought the shed. It was a nice, lovely shed, and then it just got taken over. Uh, yeah, so it just it just got completely taken over, and uh, I'm being to I've been planning on making a new shed or building a new shed uh this year at some point well it was on my list of stuff to do last year and i still haven't got around to doing it i need loads of wood chip but uh need to but need to get paths made up first uh, we had a flurry of snow here today fiercely cold easterly wind punctuated by gorgeous sunshine it was t-shirt weather uh, the day before what's it like there Yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. We were all out in t-shirts, absolutely beautiful. Today it was back to windy and grey again. We we had a few bits of sunny spells, but those sunny spells were they, they, they were sort of deceiving because it was sunny, but really windy and um, really windy and cold. And it was promising to rain. I was hoping it had rained, so I didn't water my onions thinking that we're going to get some rain, so I think I'm going to have to water my onions tomorrow. Uh, my shed has had a dusty motorbike in it. My garage is one is one big shed. Could never get a car in it. 
have you, what have you got in your garage? Is it is it yours though, or has it been taken over? <clears throat> Very windy down south. Um, it's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly here, but still okay for shorts. Frank, are you talking about now? It's not. It's not okay for shorts now, man. It wasn't short, okay for shorts today. It's freezing. <laughs> I think it's even windier tomorrow. Don't, oh, don't be saying that. When I'm in my shed, uh, I lose my balance. It leans to the right and, and it's sinking. What have you got it on? <laughs> or is it just is it just old? It was snowing here. It, uh, not as short as weather. Been so windy. Uh, one of our posties wear shorts 365. How could... I don't get that. You, see, you do see some postmen wearing shorts. Do you know... When it um, even in the winter, and it don't make I don't get it. It 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 just doesn't make sense to me, because you know unless it's about twenty five thirty degrees, you're not getting me in shorts. Unless it's about fifteen degrees, I'm not wearing a t shirt. Um, <laughs> it, no, it's an overflow from what we what we don't want in the house. <laughs> Um, Frank saying, my shed is my shed, but I let, um, but I did let the wife tidy it on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, I think, see, I was, I was, do you know when I got the greenhouse, I was thinking that greenhouse is mine and there's more of my wife's plants in the greenhouse at the minute. Uh, there's more, yeah, there's more of my wife's plants in the greenhouse at the minute than, than there are mine. Uh, I wear shorts and t-shirt at work. Even in the winter, I could. It could be a. It could be a boat. It do, it does. Oh, your shed sways so much. It could be a boat. Oh, Ashley's by the sea. Uh, Bish, what have you filmed today? Because I'm. I'm not. I don't want to scroll back up and lose the chat again. What did you What did you film today? In Scotland, we don't put a coat on unless it's, it falls below minus five. Oh, you're tough up there. You're tough up there. <laughs> um, Frank, Frank, you're a tough. You, you're pretty tough if you're wearing if you're wearing shorts even in winter. Um, yeah. Probably July, August time, I'll wear some shorts, um, and and that'll be it. But I do like where I do like walking about barefoot in the garden, though. That's one thing I do like. Do you know? Uh, I love walking on grass barefoot. Uh, yeah, or when now my wife is off work, I think she's she's got plans for tidying it. Are you gonna help, Nick? Or are you gonna run the other way? <laughs> uh, Joshua is a, is a is a fa everyone's into it at the minute. Do you know my wife, my mum. It's hard getting my eldest son involved sometimes, but my daughter's a little madam. She'll be into it, and the little boy. Um, do you know? I'm, I'm not sure what they're called. They like uh, those digger things. Yeah. They're like three forks on one side and a flat part on the other, um, a hand digger thing. Um, so he was digging. He was digging with that in the garden, and I'd gone and planted some lettuce in the greenhouse and put it on the table. So my son went in there and just went and, ksh, 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 you know, scraped up all my lettuce, uh, a couple of uh, cups of uh, peas. He, he chucked them over. Um, so yeah. He's he's a he's a he's a right little one at the minute. Sorry, I'm just here, just fixing my new grow house in the shed. <clears throat> See, Sam, do you know um, do you know do you know that comment there? It reminds it reminds me of one of the live streams that I did very early on when you were when you were on uh, in your patio fixing your patio late at night. So uh, 
Sam might be burying someone again. <laughs> Mike's Mike's hobbies is here. Mike, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Um, all this talk of cold and snow. I haven't seen a single bit of snow this year. We, yeah, I haven't. It didn't snow this year. I don't think. I, I th we got a bit cheated there. I think. Yeah, I I agree there. Yeah, we got a bit cheated there, I think. Because if it's cold, we want it to snow so we can go sledging. Uh, oh, do, uh, don't have a pin. Uh, what's going on? Our family business has ground to a halt, which is stressful, but my husband has thrown himself into the veg gardening with me and wants wants to have complete responsibility for the potatoes this year what what what's your family business kelly uh, i'm guessing it's something to do with the building trade because of the supplies you mentioned earlier um uh, <clears throat> apparently some people had snow today i think did, did kelly say she had snow earlier because we, we, we haven't had snow this year. We haven't had snow this year at all. Uh, we have a plumbing and heating company. Me, Dan and two lads. Ah, okay. That's alright. Full family business. That's awesome. See, there's quite a few people like that. That are really struggling. Um, really struggling at the minute. Um, I, I do the books for a few restaurants. And they've just completely had to shut. Um... And you know the all these government promises of eighty percent of people's wages and all of that. HMRC haven't even got the systems in place to be able to pay, um, and and they they're hoping to get the systems built by April. So, like the guy from Weatherspoons, the director of Weatherspoons, he, he turned around and said, if um, if HMRC pay me, then I'll pay my staff. Otherwise, they're not getting any money. But a lot of people are gonna. I think there's going to be a lot of bankruptcies uh, with with people. Uh, I think people are really going to struggle. I'm out in the garden now with my thick, fluffy dressing gown, and it's freezing. Sam, you're a brave man being out there like that. Um, Sam, that's created some. Kelly, if you live near Wix, get a Trade Pro card, ten percent off every purchase. The lads, not our sons. Ah, okay. <laughs> and I think the government will be paying us back at some point. Uh, we have a great accountant and we're trying to stay positive. Um, keep in touch with him. Because uh, what I'm doing at the minute is every day I'm checking HMRC for updates. Uh, and trying to feed that back to a lot of my clients. But it's it's going to be it's gonna be difficult times, I think, for a lot of people. <clears throat> <laughs> uh. Oh, Sam, I, I thought you had, um, but thanks for confirming. <laughs> She's emailing. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not emailing anyone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 uh, speaking to quite a few people every day, but um, a lot of people are quite rightfully quite stressed, especially when they've had, you know like restaurants they've been ordered to close close the doors completely. Um, one of my one of my uh, Dean has left the back door open. Uh, it's freezing. Who's out in the garden in the no, hang on. That's Sam. Why is why is Dean left the back door open? Yeah, Kelly, I'm I'm pretty rubbish. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not ringing anyone. That there's I'm getting so many phone. Call, I'm I'm not emailing anyone, but I'm getting so many phone calls at the minute. Pretty much, in in the last week, I've spoken to every one of my clients, but. It's having a knock-on effect because a lot of people are going to struggle to pay. Um, so, and you know the government's measures. People like me don't get covered. Uh, don't get. Um, don't get any. 
won't get any support. Um, and people struggle to pay people like me, but we won't get any support from the government either. So we're gonna we're gonna struggle quite a bit. Uh, just when I, to be fair, Monty, it's really difficult for us in the public sector to try and get get the help of to get the help to business really quickly. There's a lot of lot of work going on to try and create systems as quickly as possible. I I completely agree, Nick. I completely agree, Nick. A lot of things just aren't in place. Do you know that's why if they went if they used like the income support system and did a universal basic you know universal ba uh, basic income, that would have been a much better approach I think in my opinion anyway than going down the route that they've gone down and try to give a bit of patch for this and a bit of patch for that. Um, where are we going? Uh, wind, wind blew the gr gr uh, is he <laughs> heading off for the night, Monty? Good time with you, and uh, Garrett. You have a good night. Um, stay safe, and we'll see you next week. Um, he's been well, Dean. You've been well behaved as well today. Uh, we we have a fleet of leased vehicles which we're trying to get payment hol get payment holidays on, but they're not easy to deal with. At the moment, it's rubbish for everyone who isn't loaded. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is rubbish for everyone who isn't loaded. Uh, we may get lump sum in June, but nothing till. <clears throat> Ray, again, do you know the self self employed one? As long as your books are up to date, it's mainly going to be uh, based on your eighteen nineteen income. Um, so, at least fifty percent of the profits that you're going to be claiming for has to come from that tax year. So anyone who became self-employed last year and is only going to submit a year's worth of accounts, they're they're not qualify they they won't qualify for this self-employment bonus. Uh, I didn't realise you tax avoider typical Yorkshire. <laughs> completely unprecedented a nightmare for the it's a nightmare for every it's absolutely bonkers uh yeah with all the staff having to work work at home it's difficult to get everything sorted nick where'd you work uh we have our books sorted thankfully oh nice one a nightmare for the world will come through this yeah um on a yeah i think we will it's bringing out a lot of good stuff in people and it's bringing out a lot of really nastiness and opportunism in people as well. Um, I've done a few posts about, you know, horrible you know, price hikes in local grocery stores and stuff like that. Um, people are just taking the mic, uh, they're taking the mic here and it really, you know, uh, I was just about to get a job before all of this. See, if you'd have got your job in February, We'd have qualified for that eighty percent payment, <laughs> right, guys? Who wants to see the plants in my house? Um, Dean, what's disgusting? Something disgusting. What? What? My hang on. A few of my fellow allotments uh, allotment is asked me to grow seedlings for them to cover the loss. Right, come on. Let, who, wants to, who wants to have a look at my plants in the house? Let's go. Let's go upstairs. So let's go up to the attic. We might get a bit of a weak signal up there. Um. So let's walk, walk, walk. Yeah, the price hikes. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So here we go. Where's that button that you press? Guys, try my job when click and click isn't ready. Get some right stick. Uh, <laughs> Leslie Hood, my MU69 has been sacked by the florist. She's worked for... What's an MU? For the last six months, she's devastated. What, uh, what's an MU? For for local authority dealing with business on a daily basis, then they're right. They're rightly wanting money quickly, but some are being really nasty to our staff. 
Ah, mamón. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's horrible that. Because they could have just held on for, for do you know, they could have furloughed her and covered her for the next. They could have covered her if they'd have just furloughed her. I mean, I'm sure if they'd have agreed, like, look, we can't afford to pay you, we'll pay you when the government money comes through. They could have furloughed her. Right, you, let's flip this round. Yeah, this is what I've got in my house. So, I took my dog out earlier and saw a man pick up cigarette ends off the street. I couldn't give him a... Sad I couldn't give him a couple of mine. So what I've got here, this is, these are my hyacinth beans and they're already um, sending off their vines. So what we've done with these is we've nipped them out to stop them growing and hopefully uh, they'll get a bit stronger. Uh, loads and loads of tomatoes everywhere. So tomatoes, uh, loads of gourds here. I see loads of gourds and they're growing they're sending out their vines as well so they're going to be a bit of a nightmare if i don't put them up soon uh, look look at what this is anyone guess what that is they're, they're a fruit tree they're my favorite fruit uh, i did a video about my favorite fruit about june last year and i've got three of those trees i'm not going to tell you what they are though um so i told her she didn't qualify they didn't they told her she didn't qualify she could have qualified for that killer if they if they'd have kept her on if they'd have furloughed her if she was on anyone who was on february's payroll would have qualified if they'd have furloughed her ashley probably does that before the lockdown uh, <laughs> was the boss come ashley was what's what hang on so let's see uh it's not kiwi Hey, Rachel Jane's allotments come in with the right answer. <laughs> a bit late to the party, just finished editing tomorrow's video. How are you all doing? Uh, no, Sophia, it's not mango. It's not mango, it's the other one. Breadfruit. No, Rachel Jane's allotment. Ra Rachel, you got it right the first time. It's not breadfruit, but yeah, you got it right the first time. Went to the shop earlier, then a man approached behind me so close I couldn't move away quick enough. <coughs> uh, you'll end up with the equivalent of my living room cucumber for it. Your, your cuc you had cucumbers growing inside last year. That was awesome. Uh, see, Kelly, she would have qualified. Anyone who was on February's payroll... Um, then they would have qualified for that furlough if they all they have to do is furlough furlough your mum and then she'd get the 80 percent payroll i mean even if they agree to even if they agree that um that okay we can't pay you until the government money comes through it's going to be better than nothing isn't it because that's what a few of our you know, my, my restaurant clients are doing because because they've got no cash, they they're not they're not they've agreed with the staff. Look, when the government money comes through, we'll give you the money. But before that, we can't give you anything. But we're still gonna, you know, we're still gonna try and claim for it. Um, what have I got here? So these are a tomato. These are a Bangladeshi variety of tomato. These are my uh, what are these ones? These are my San Manzano. I think these are my San Manzano. Um, these are tomatoes I grew from a tomato that I cut in half and just took them out. Um, these are my Lubiuri. They're not doing very well at the minute. Uh, I need to get them back under the grow, grow lights. Um, aubergines. Loads and loads of aubergines down here. Oops, go away. Some chilies down here. Some more aubergines. I think one's Black Beauty and the other one's uh, Long Purple. Uh, what else have I got up here? Everything else is in the living room. So we're going to go down. We won't go down to the living room because we'll get swamped again. There's loads of aubergines there that... When I sowed them, I think I just got a bit too excited. Um, and I've been pricking them out of this and planting them into the other things. Um, and 
that that bunch has just gone just gone a bit m m uh, mental. Never managed aubergines. Think that's going to be a fir one for next year. Uh, Russ, we got we had a decent year with aubergines last year. Okay, Monty uh, says. Go okay, everyone, Monty says go. Eh? What? <laughs> What's happened, Dean? Um, I'm losing up on um losing the conversation here a bit. Uh, our design consultants on the kitchen and bathroom side have been furloughed till June. Uh, do the do the aubergines need to stay in the, in the polytunnel in the greenhouse? I I grew them in the greenhouse. They need a lot of heat. Um, my plan this year was to build some hotbeds outside and plant them in the hotbeds, uh, but but um, I, I'm not going to be able to get any manure, so um, I'm not going to be able to build my hotbeds. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so more chilies here. Look, more chilies here. They're getting a bit yellow, so I might stick them back under the lights. Has anyone seen them? I've got some water hyacinth there. They're a bit worse for wear, but yeah, I'm saving them, overwintering them in the house, and then they'll go in the pond in in, in a few, six weeks. Um... There's some funny noise happening. So what? Are we, uh, that's about it f for upstairs. Let's see. Well, uh, I might see if I can get some stuff. Get if I can get some thinking about it. Oh, you're getting grafted aubergines. They they normally do a lot better. They normally do a lot better. So. Let's flip this round and hang on. Let's flip it back that way a bit. Uh, there's some date palms I grew from, grew from seed, and my pomegranate I grew from seed. Um, my chili appeared without heat in the polyton. How much the grow lights cost to run? Frank, depends on the type. I think if you're going for some serious grow lights and you're keeping them on for a long, long time, then I think they can get quite expensive. But uh, the LED set that I've got, I haven't noticed a massive jump in the electricity bill since I've been using it. So I don't know is my honest answer, but I haven't noticed a massive jump. Uh, we're back downstairs. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Ah, uh, are the are the aubergines from your safe seeds? No, they're not. They they bought they bought in seeds. Uh, Dan says I can have a polytunnel next year, and says he wants to wants us to have chickens too. The whole thing is turning into into pre, turning us into preppers. If only we could find those money tree seeds. That's awesome. Do you know if you can get uh, the chickens, build your compost heaps in the in the chicken run, and just let the chickens compost it for you. It'll be amazing. Uh, have you have you got enough land to get a couple of sheep? I'd love I'd love a couple of goats or a couple of sheep. Uh, UK vlogger MU is here. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. New to the CM. What does what does CM mean? Uh, the two smallish LED panels I use cost about three pence a day to run for twelve hours. Um, cool, send me a link. Which uh, who are you asking to send you a link, Frank? Uh, Fifteen pound extra a week for me with two T forty two T fives a spider farmer. See what De Dean's running some serious serious lights though. Uh, my my lights aren't anywhere near as serious as his, but I think they're still pretty good though. I'm quite impressed with the. I've been really impressed with the lights that I got. Um, assalamu alaikum, new CM. Uh, Mr. Habib, Mir Habib, assalamu alaikum, assalam. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, da -da 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 -da. Kelly's kitchen garden. If you if you get some money tree seeds. 
let me let me know where, where you find them. I want some one of three seeds as well. I want mine some some of them. Um Kelly, why not see if you can do a deal on with a polyton polytunnel supplier? A few channels have received free ones if you do reviews for them. Oh, that's a right. Nick, how would you approach him? Um because that's a brilliant idea. That's an absolutely fantastic idea. Uh, Leslie can't. Why can't you have animals? Get, uh, because I'm plant based, I won't eat anything from meat. Dan and the kids eat eggs and will be insisting that they're rescue. And I'll be insisting that they're res rescues hens. Uh, I'd love some goats to keep the grass down. See, I'd love, I'd love a couple, do you know, a couple of pygmy goats. Uh, I think they'd be brilliant for the kids, you know, to be playing about with them. Uh, the kids have my lights on. On my, uh, the kids leave my lights on. That cost us. Well. Uh, what does CM mean? Um, I would like a polytunnel. If anyone finds one for a good price, let me know. Uh, I, you know, um, I built my greenhouse a couple of years ago completely from recycled wood the only things that we bought were the four corner posts and the plastic sheeting so we use po twin wall polycarbonate so it's like a greenhouse but it's like a poly the polytunnel i think it cost us just over 400 quid um and the, the main money was on the on the plastic it's uh four me hang on how long is it is it four meters long and two and a half meters wide so it's a pretty decent size um but absolutely quality. Uh, I can't. Uh, on your on your allotment, you can't have uh, it's council run. Uh, okay. Could you get Could you get some chickens at home? They'd be absolutely quality, Do you know the chicken, uh, pygmy goats. Because you're not gonna, it it just be it just be like having uh, some large some big rabbits, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I got offered a tent to review my channel. Uh, you never know. One day, who who offered you a tent to review? I, where are these offers coming from? I, I want I want something like that. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm moving my lights around on the on the possibly tomorrow. You're moving your what are you moving them around for? Uh, I want a pig on the plot just because it turns over the ground for you. But don't they don't they compress the ground quite a bit? Because I know quite a few, qu uh, there's a tradition of using pigs to clear ground um, when you know clear ground of weeds. But if you leave them on for a long time, that that won't compact your ground. Mm. Yeah, and goats. Goats even eat brambles. Goats will eat anything, but you know, if you've got privet hedges, um, privet's poisonous for goats. Uh, and that's one of the big reasons, that's one of the things that stopped me. And um, plus all the paperwork that's involved in, in getting getting a, a goat in the backyard. Because it's a surprising amount of paperwork that's involved. Uh, dustbins on legs. Are you talking to me again? <laughs> uh, what does CM mean, uh, Mir Habib? Uh, I don't know what uh, new CM means. Um, right guys we're at quarter past nine we've been going for uh an hour and ten minutes either um so if you can tell me what cm means that'll be good uh but um if you don't mind i'm gonna call challenge channel member uh could be uh you'd be you'd be best to create a, a press pack
you'd be best at a press pack. <laughs> um, what happened? Ah, time him out. What, uh, did I just miss something? Sam, are you off? Take care, mate. Um, I'm going to sign out as well, pretty sharpish, but I just want to know what just happened. Um, did he say something a bit silly? <laughs> Community member. <laughs> um, but I'm, I want to speak to you about this press pack, uh, Nick, because uh, I think he was just repeating news news to him all the time. Yeah, uh, I think they just some people are just coming. Uh, yeah, looking for subs. But okay, that's fine. No, just keep repeating the same. I thought it was something a bit more ex centimeter. See, centimeter. He might have just been saying, you know, telling you his size, you know, his waist size or something. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, it's come to that time of the time of the. Uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, a bit tired, so I'm just going to call it a day. Um, if anyone's around on a Wednesday or at 12 o'clock at dinner time, um, 12, yeah, 12 o'clock dinner time, I'm going to be doing a, an extra little um, extra little live stream. I won't do it as long as this, just, to, just while we're all on lockdown, while we're all at home, um, just to keep you know just just for the sake of it and we'll have a chit chat then as well if anyone wants to join but in that case thanks everyone for coming in spending some time with me um and it's been it's been a it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure thanks everyone take care assalamu alaikum